So today we're going to talk about the Silicon Valley bank failure and what I call the blame game. So stay tuned. I'm sure you all know by now that the Silicon Valley Bank has folded, right? And it's been on the news about all of the reasons for the bank failure. And one of the biggest reasons that they're talking about is that they had unprofitable investments. When we put money into a bank, the money just, just, just sit there. The bank uses our money in investments. And the Silicon Valley said that they had made some really bad, some unprofitable investments. And that's why the bank went down. But they're adding another reason. There's another factor besides their investments. And they're blaming it on remote work. They're saying that this widespread adaption to remote work is one of the biggest problems that they've been going through. Since COVID, they've been onboarding virtually. And they're saying that these virtual onboards have not been working. They say not only the onboarding has gone down the tubes, but limited employee travel, increased telecommunications, and the communications is not so great. And also the negative effects of working from home, you know, burnout, right? So they're saying right now that the biggest problem that they're having is this remote work. And it's not just Silicon Valley Bank. If you remember back, JP Morgan's uh, CEO, Jamie Dimon, said that he wanted everybody to get back to work, that working remotely wasn't really good for young people and they needed to get back there. And Morgan Stanley's CEO, James Gorman, wants his workers back in the office now. So things are starting to change. P employees, right? You and I, everybody wants to work from home. It's great. It's easy. But now we're starting to look at profits and we're starting to look at whether this remote work is the best thing for an organization. Here's the big one. Just a few days ago, Mark Zuckerberg of Meta, which was formerly Facebook, said that he is encouraging all of his employees now to get back to work. He says that people that joined Meta and were onboarded in person and remained working in person at Meta right now are doing much better than those that are working remotely. So here's the problem. We've been working remotely now for almost two years and people like it. They don't want that commute anymore. They're feeling much more effective and they're building a better work-life balance. But employers are looking at it right now, especially with this whole idea of the bank going under and they're saying, we've got to get our people back to work. So the jury is still out. I'd love for you to put your comments in and let me know how you're feeling right now about this whole idea of remote work and maybe you having to go back. Thanks, everybody. It's Karen McCullough with another lesson from the road.